edition of Parkinson from 1975, shown in tribute to Fred Astaire, who will be remembered for, amongst other things, his famous on-screen partnership with Ginger Rogers, one of the queens of the RKO studio. Well, on Friday, Ed Asner continues to guide us through the archives of that studio and introduce us to some of the secrets surrounding Ginger Rogers herself, Catherine Hepburn and Lucille Ball. A woman's lot in the RKO studio, story at 9.35 on Friday on BBC Two. Well now, Thursday evening on BBC One. Peter Powell and Simon Bates introduce Top of the Pops at seven, and they include Banana Rama, Bruce Willis, Mel and Kim, and the Pet Shop Boys. At 7.30, well, that means our regular appointment with the East Enders. While chaos is assured at eight o'clock in a compilation of some of the most outrageous moments hailed as what a carry-on. At 8.30, Tom has to give his father his marching orders in Don't Wait Up, Following the 9 o'clock news, Crime Watch UK at 9.30 invites you to help police solve serious crimes, which are brought to our attention by Sue Cook and Nick Ross. The repulsive Blackadder 2 shows no signs of becoming any less so at 10 past 10. The Trouble with Sex is at uh, 10.40, and a Crime Watch UK update is at 10 past 11. And then there's the Rock Gospel Show at 11.20, and that's tomorrow evening, Thursday, here on BBC One. Now the weather. Well, tonight, rain will clear away slowly across Scotland and some showers left by morning, but it'll be a mild night with lowest temperatures 11 Celsius, 52 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, many places will start bright with some sunshine, but some showery rain is likely in the north and in southern England, with fog patches along the northeast coast. Heavy showers will reach the southwest in the morning and will spread cloudy, wet weather across Wales and much of England by dusk. Temperatures, well, they'll be lower than today, reaching 21 Celsius, that's 70 Fahrenheit, at best. So that you will not think that I'm limiting your fun unreasonably, Roderick, I shall show you how there is a risk involved in using airbeds on the sea. The airbed is not a boat and cannot easily be controlled. Wind, current or tide can rapidly carry you away from the beach and out to sea. If then you should fall off, whoa, you can have to try and swim after it. You will find it very difficult to regain. Mom. Never use an airbed where wind, waves and tides can take it and you into danger. That was a public information film. And it brings us to exactly ten minutes past midnight. Time for BBC One to close for the evening. As we uh, take our leave of you, may I remind you about our colleagues over there on Radio 2. They have music and conversation through the night, so why not join them? Anyway, from me, Richard Straker, on behalf of all of my colleagues here on BBC One, it is time to wish you a warm and peaceful good night.